Hello there fellow world of gambling enjoyers, today I'm gonna have a look at the season 4 tanks, are they worth it? Obviously the tier 7 is free, but how about the tier 8 and tier 9, are they any good, are they worth buying, and should you be scared of them if you meet them in battle? Alright, let's start off with the most important one, because you can actually upgrade this one completely for free, the E10. Basically, it's very slow. It only has 1,800 DPM, 400 alpha damage, 413 seconds. It's not too bad for a tier 7. The penetration, however, for example, compared to the silencer of the previous season vehicle, is awful at 170 standard penetration. Mobility is, well, E100-like, but at least does have very good armor at 200 millimeters at the front of the turret, and the upper plate is also very well sloped, so you can't pen that. Low plate's a weak spot like it is on any tank. Sides are sloped, but still, if you get shot on the side, they're gonna penetrate you anyway. So, this is a bit of a bad situation here, because first of all, we only have one medium, and that one medium is no medium. So, let's see how we're gonna solve this. Obviously, this is quite slow, so it does work well in a city, but ideally, you, you wouldn't want to play the heavy side either, because map control is very important. Like, having the map control is better than not having the map control. You might not always win with the map control if your team's stupid, but not having the map control is a pretty sure way to actually just lose... Uh, as long as the enemy team isn't entirely dumped. So, let's see. I'm just going to play up here. Obviously, point four accuracy. Just not a good place for this vehicle right here. Playing sniper fight against an SU-152, which is equally inaccurate. But um, there he is now. 205. That is a medium variety. That's probably the Hellcat. So, let's see. Nope. Missed them. Now, here's an enemy E-10. The AC's over here. I'm just going to go in the city now. The enemies are completely toast at this point. There's no chance for them to win anymore unless we throw. And now I, I kind of... Like, I have the hit points to fight here, but I don't want to throw them away here. So I, I do hope that I can somehow prostitute the Karo a little bit to have him give his hit points rather than mine. And uh, especially also with the Dracula up there uh, trying to pound me. I don't really like that. I would much rather do the pounding rather than get the pounding. So let's drive around the side here. I'm gonna shoot the AC in the back. And uh, Hello, air conditioner. How you doing today? Not very well, because you're not dead. There we go. Now, this vehicle it's not nearly as good as the silencer, obviously, but it is a lot easier to play than the silencer if you're a beginner player not that good, and you grind this out, you get it for free, upgrade it completely. You're gonna have a very solid time with this thing. Like, it works. It's not the best of vehicles, it's not really, oh my god, you have to have it. It's not as good as the silencer. I mean, obviously that one's quite hard to play. That comes in. Now uh, we just gotta go and find the Dracula and the Hellcat. How do I know that that was the Hellcat the entire time? So I looked at the team, and I knew where the other guys are. So I knew there's only one tank it can be with that alpha damage range. Because remember, if you know the exact alpha damage, it's not really gonna help you much if the RNG happens anyway. So it's enough to know the rough alpha damage of the field. You don't know exactly, oh, this thing has 240. It just, it's got some around 250. There is not much to say about it. It's slow. It has 400 alpha damage. It's inaccurate. It works, right? You get it free. You have it. You play it a couple of times. Find out, are you going to like it? Because it's pretty easy to play. Like, that's not what it's going to suffer from. But it might be a bit boring, because it's slow. Now the tier 8, which in this top configuration, you do have to pay for, and my advice, they don't. This vehicle, 2600 DPM, 310 alpha damage, 3 shot autoloader with 2.2 seconds initial clip. Very good accuracy right here. I mean, basically the opposite of the E10 It is very accurate at 0.3. So, that's yeah, not bad. Now, it's also a lot faster, but obviously it is an autoloading tank destroyer, which... Well, like tanks to us, but nonetheless, let's see what we can get out of this vehicle. Sort of has 45 degree limit to left and right, which is not the worst. Could be better, but um, it's basically just a 183 that they shrunk down in size and plunked this tiny little autoloader on with, well, not really that tiny. It has 310 alpha damage, so you can put out 900 in 4 seconds. 4.4 seconds. But, uh, yeah, let's just get rid of that. Drive, and I'm gonna reload now the reload 16 seconds so the gun on this vehicle is very good like it's very accurate you've got 244 millimeters standard penetration that you need 
because you do have premium HE rounds. So no heat or APCR, you do have premium HE rounds on this vehicle. So you need those 244 standard. So let's see. T2065 uh, is going to pump him full of shells. Going to track him so he can't get away. 2.2 seconds is perfect to hold someone on the track, even if they're uh, just trying to repair that. So I'll just hold them right there. Uh, the Pugetto is probably sitting in a corner right there. Nope, he's there. So... Yeah, all I've got to do now is go for this T26. He is in clip range, so there's nothing you can do, really. I'm just going to track him again and then take him out and then just completely claim his entire life, unless it already gets claimed before that. Not too bad. Basically, the armor on this vehicle doesn't exist, so try to play it carefully. Don't push out into the open towards the enemy. Just wait for your clip to reload, unload your clip. That's 930 damage. You need two of those in your, well, basically average at that point. So... That is not too bad. And now we're just gonna ignore that guy for now. I'm trying to find some damage here. We're probably not gonna get it. Uh, or I might get it because that guy just ex exploded. And, um, I mean, the MX is a bit of a problem here. It's gonna try to protect this guy. Never mind. He's dead. Uh, turn. There we go. It is surprisingly mobile for what it is, really. Um, now we're gonna have to be very careful here because obviously the defender can be a problem. I'm gonna go for. Reload here because I know that he didn't. Okay. 11 hit points. I'm just going to get out of there. Obviously because I'm going to have to deal with that T25 if the T71 fails to do it. But he didn't. And now I'm gonna... he just missed. That's great. The I3 Defender just missed me. I probably shouldn't have missed that. It is enough. T71 should. Never mind. He's dead. Now I'm going to have to reload. 3000 damage. That's not really all that bad. I don't know what I'm doing, but, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's an auto loader. It works. Like, you just have to avoid getting shot by the enemy, which is what I'm pretty good at, so... Now, let's see. That's a very dumb move, IS-3. That's, that's a very dumb move. So, that's also a very dumb move, because I can traverse extremely quickly. Surprisingly. So, uh... Yeah. I mean... It's pretty... For a tankster, and... I'm gonna praise this vehicle here. Like, it works really well. As you just saw. But is it worth spending money on to fully upgrade it? I don't know. It depends. Are you fine with the locked turret? In that case, wonderful. Do it. It is quite solid. No complaints. And now after that, essentially, highlight of the new season, we get to that. 2,000 DPM, 630 alpha damage. As you can see, 20 second reload. 0.4 to 3 accuracy, which means you can hit something generally over there. But you're not going to hit anything accurately. It's only 6 degrees of gun depression. And mobility that can be best described as that. So, not really going on too well. It does have some turret armor. It, well, with some, I mean 200 millimeters, which is completely flat here, which means you can just pin the turret anyway. And uh, at 6 degrees of gun depression, you can't really go hull down with the vehicle. So, it's a dirt mean tank. That's about it. So, um, while the tier 8 might possibly be worth a consideration to purchase if you are interested and can't afford it, and uh, this vehicle is very much not. So, let's see. Should be pretty easy to win now. The enemies are just... Uh, I forgot to turn off Supremacy again. God damn. That's the one downside of having a press account. You have to remember to turn Supremacy off. So let's see. I'm gonna take that, and now we won. How about that, enemy heavies? Do you still feel that you made the correct choice? No, you don't. That's why you play the medium side, because the medium side fight lasts less time, which means if you win the medium side fight, look at that aim time, uh, then you can just easily win the battle, because it's 7v3 now, right? Because we beat the enemy mediums and the enemy heavies didn't even have time to act yet. That is why the medium side or the, also the map control is so vital. Because that fight happens first. That fight happens quicker. And once you lose your own mediums and the enemies still have theirs, it's kind of hard to recover from there. So, um, let's see. It's gonna have to wait about 15 hours to reload this vehicle. I mean... 2,000 years later. The tier 8 8! It's a perfectly solid tank, and if I wouldn't dislike tank destroyers, I would be like, yay, great tank. But, for a tank destroyer, it is quite outstanding. 
not almost on the level of the WZ-121 GFT, but still on a very high level that I can recommend. So that pretty much, the tier 8 is the highlight this time. Last season it was the silencer. Again, the tank. What, what is it with Wargaming making good season tank destroyers and then crapping on the others? I, I don't really know. But let's see. I'm just going to try to get one more shot here and here. You, you did well capping the bases, guys. I'm proud of you. So... Just gonna pump it into the turret. There, there might be a Amarag down there. And that is. 2.9k damage. E100. Huh? What now? E10, sorry. It's okay. Nothing noteworthy. It's fine, it's there. You can get it for free. Perfectly solid. The tier 8. Nice. It's good. You obviously can't get it for free anymore. You have to purchase it for a little bit. But it might be worth it if you are into tank destroyers, if you don't mind the lack of armor. Like, if you do really, really well in the silencer. You're probably also going to do really well in the DTH STR. And then this vehicle, I mean, you have to spend a lot of money on it. And uh, it's not quite worth it. 